Good afternoon, nice to be back with you. And now I'm going to do Maranatha Prayers, Monday week one. As we gather at midday with Christian brothers and sisters across the UK to pray, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, my will be done. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory <coughs> for ever and ever. Amen. How good and pleasant it is when brothers live together in unity. Psalm 133 I come just as myself, just as I am, this moment, my feelings, my fears, my joys, my sadnesses. You see me as I really am. You know me through and through. You see all, all that I am, all that I am or ever have been. We have a silence now where we pray for one another in silence and our needs and the needs of those around us and the needs of the whole world. So I just take a few moments. Prayer for Unity Lord Jesus Christ, we praise you for your gospel of reconciliation. <coughs> Thank you for the work of the Holy Spirit drawing us, your flock, together into deeper unity. Help us to be your instruments of peace and hope in a divided world. We ask this in your precious name. Amen. Psalm 1 to 3. The Lord watches over the way of the righteous. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. Today I have become your father. You are a shield around me, O Lord. Listen to my cry for help, my King and my God. For to you I pray. Turn, O Lord, and deliver me. Save me because of your unfailing love. The Lord has heard my cry for mercy. The Lord accepts my prayer. My shield is God most high. The scripture for today, Monday week one, is from 1 Chronicles. 29, 11 to 13, David's Thanksgiving. Yours, Yahweh, is the greatness, the power, the splendor, length of days and glory. Everything in heaven and on earth is yours. Yours is the sovereignty, Yahweh. You are exalted, supreme over all. Wealth and riches come from you. You are ruler of all. In your hand lie strength and power, and you bestow greatness and might on whomsoever you please. So now, our God, we give thanks to you and praise your majestic name. Verse 14. For who am I and what is my people? For us to be able to volunteer offerings like this, since everything has come from you, and we have given you only what you bestowed in the first place. The canticle for today, remain, O Christ, in the hearts you have redeemed. You who are perfect love, pour into our world sincere repentance. 
Remain, O Christ, in the hearts you have redeemed. We raise our prayer to you, O Jesus, with faith. Pardon the sin we have committed. Remain, O Christ, in the hearts you have redeemed. By the holy sign of the cross, by your tortured body, defend us constantly as your people. Remain, O Christ, in the hearts you have redeemed. Those are the words by ben Venerable Bede. He was a Benedictine monk many centuries ago. So now we have some open prayer, which I won't be, be for very long today. I pray for everyone on the internet who feels abused or got at in any way. Um, and I pray that you will have the peace of Christ in your heart and soul when you feel that someone's been attacking you in any way. And just go into prayer and pray for the person or persons who are making you feel like that and then ignore them. Ignore them and pray for them and pray for yourself and ask God to give you peace and he will. And um, it's to be expected in these evil days and evil times when we all have different viewpoints and different agendas. They will seek out those that don't agree with them and they think they're so right and you're so wrong. So it's a stalemate. So you stick to your own and there's no point in communicating with anybody who's going to make you feel bad. Because that's not God's way. He wants everyone to feel peace in their souls and their hearts and their minds and their spirits. He doesn't want you to feel irritated and um, destroyed in any way. He wants you to be whole and remain in his peace and his consolation. That's what I pray for today. That anybody who's feeling bad when they use the internet, it's not of God, it's of the devil. So now I'm going to continue with our responsive prayer. Father God, open our eyes to see your glory. Lord, have mercy. Maranatha, come Lord Jesus, fill us with your love. Christ, have mercy. Holy Spirit, come, open our lives to your guidance. Lord, have mercy. Collect. Almighty God, you have opened the way to eternal life to every race and nation by the promised gift of your Holy Spirit. Share this gift abroad throughout the world by the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ, that it may reach to the ends of the earth through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Commitment Prayer of Maranatha In this community we are pilgrims. Together we pray, Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. We commit ourselves to Jesus Christ, the Saviour of the world, our Lord, whose name is above every name. We commit ourselves to be living and active members of the body of Christ. We commit ourselves to be caring members of the family whose Father is God. We commit ourselves to one another in love as little brothers and sisters of Jesus. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for praying with me. Continue to pray for the rest of your day if you need peace and harmony and love in your life. I wish you every blessing and I'm going to do a Bible daily dip a bit later on. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll do another marathon on Wednesday. Bye-bye.